Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 2nd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and disaster alerts from around the world, giving you an earthquake update as well. How are you all holding out? I want to send my love and my prayers to everybody who is going through this global crisis together. I'm happy that I am able to share my research and my love and prayers with everyone. So God bless you all, and thank you for watching today. Looking here at the sun, 304 angstroms, watching some plasma filaments on each quadrant of the sun, also watching the incoming sunspot. It does not look like that it will produce a flare or anything. It's not looking like it will be. But watching this pretty sizable filament eruption here, southwestern limb, as well as the northeastern rim. and down on the south, which we had shown in the beginning there. I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all of the researchers, developers at Solar Dynamics Observatory producing these images for us. Again, this is the only way that we can safely look at our sun. And here we're able to see the coronal hole that is earth facing right now. So we are expecting that stream anytime over the next 6 to 12 hours. So stay aware and prepared. Our solar wind stream now is steady at about 500 kilometers per second. Between 450 and 500. It's been uh, it's been spiking a little bit, but we're expecting the solar wind stream here very soon. Let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours as we have now an earthquake swarm in Idaho instead of the Dominican Republic. Things have moved northward. So this is a bit concerning. Um, we haven't seen an earthquake swarm like this since the California event, which was south. So we're seeing a lot of movement around Yellowstone. Let's have a look at earthquakes. Central America, 5.2. Nicaragua, 5.1. Ecuador. South America, Tal Tal in Chile, 4.8, 4.4 there as well. Not too much action throughout Indonesia, west side ring of the fire, 5.5 there, 4.4 Vanuatu, 4.7 Vanuatu, some deeper quakes, 4.7 South Japan. 4.5 North Japan. So this could be a precursor, could be on the verge of a sizable earthquake, Central Japan. Japan. And then this 4.8, which was recorded yesterday, and that was after the Pinton Lefonese volcano had erupted. And it's interesting that this is the antipode to the Idaho quakes going on right now. So a lot of volcanic activity being reported around the world. We're going to get to that in just a moment. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And you can see a lot of the action has been here in North America recently. And this was a warned region after a small 2.9 about four days ago or three days ago. And I had warned just to stay aware and prepared. And then, yeah, look at our planet now. Sh -sh Shake, rattle and roll. So that was the last seven days for earthquakes. We're going to pop over to the Pacific Disaster Center and check out the latest disasters and volcanic updates. Sangay in Ecuador just updated as well. Docono in Indonesia. Nevados de Chilean in Colombia. As well, Popo in Mexico. Asosan in Japan. Yasur in Vanuatu. Now this is a newly... This is a new eruption from yesterday. It was reported 17 hours ago in Vanuatu. And that was after a 5.8 in Porteville. 
around the world we go to um here we are yes sir uh, Reventador, Merapi in Indonesia, and as well the Pinton de la Farinese in France. And this is east of Madagascar. We're also looking at here Tropical Cyclone Iron Dro. Now, it was a very interesting name Tropical Cyclone Iron Dro. Very large, low pressure system. And the five day forecast is going to be showing this moving south, southeast towards Australia. Also, watching extreme weather throughout parts of Greece and into Bul Bulgaria, winter storms, Macedonia, and still watching heavy rain throughout mountainous regions of eastern Iran and into Pakistan, Afghanistan. Watch for a lot of flood alerts to come out over the next few days. They've been reporting these storms for over a month now. And these low pressure systems just get bigger and stronger, bringing, packing a lot more mo uh, moisture. Uh, they had some relief throughout southern Thailand as some storms moved in but the fires are still raging and it's very dry, northern Thailand. Five day forecast showing a little bit of relief. So stay tuned to the five day coming right quick. Also overlooking Australia, a lot of rain developing throughout the day yesterday and will continue. So moisture moving through central Australia and into southeastern throughout the week. And that's pretty much, much it for all of the disasters from around the world. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting here in home base, Calgary, Alberta, overlooking a very cold, low pressure system that is moving in off the BC interior. High pressure ridge still in place over the Hudson Bay. As I said before in my videos, this high pressure ridge is supposed to be there for the winter time and we are now into spring and it's getting locked in now. So it's very interesting. I haven't seen it locked in all winter. We'll see what happens here. As colder conditions will move from west to east, Alberta Clipper forms and rides the high pressure ridge. Watch for extreme weather throughout Central America. Flash flooding, flooding and heavy rains throughout Texas and into Mexico. Going to be watching the Gulf here particularly for a low to develop. A lot of rain moving into uh, northeastern United States, overlooking the Atlantic. Two vigorous low pressure systems affecting Europe and into western Russia. A lot of rain moving into Spain and as well the United Kingdom over the next few days. And a lot of snow from the Norway's east to Russia. Watching a system develop here later in the week. It's going to be a strong, vigorous low as well, moving over Kam Kamchatka. Southern China dealing with some rain. And look at this, guys. A little bit of relief for Thailand. Five-day forecast showing a little bit of rain moving in from the northeast. Overlooking Australia, I had pointed out the rain that's moving out throughout central Australia and moving to the southeast. Cooler temperatures, really cool temperatures behind it. And as well, some moisture for the north. And then we've got these monstrous low pressure systems across the Southern Hemisphere right now. Tropical Cyclone Iron Dro, and then we have this one here. I mean, that is huge. And luckily it hasn't turned into a cyclone over New Caledonia. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on it. It still could. And here's Tropical Cyclone Iron Dro. 
very big, a lot of moisture with it. You can see the long line of moisture tailing behind to the west there. Five-day forecast shows it moving east-southeast towards Western Australia. We'll have to definitely keep an eye on this one for the five-day forecast changing, possibly moving northward. We'll see. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains, heavier amounts throughout central Congo region. Same with South America. Heavier amounts towards Ecuador and Colombia. And heavy rains moving into northern Paraguay and Argentina as this huge low pressure system develops off of South America. So we got one there, one here, and two pretty sizable low pressure systems here. They're getting stronger, they're getting bigger and more organized. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Thanks everybody for watching today. I appreciate all of the love and support recently. Get in the comments section, say hi, tell me what your weather's like. And if you're not on the map, you gotta let me know where you're from. So that's a good place to do it as well. Get into the comments section, let me know where you're from. How's your weather? How you doing? Hey, you hanging in there? I hope you are. Because we are the chosen. We are still alive. Survivors of another day on this planet. Thanks for watching today. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.